Welcome back and welcome to 2010. How was yeah. your Christmas? Good? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Christmas was all right. You know, I stayed here, didn't I, for the first time in years. Um, and it was lovely. But I don't want to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I got, no, I don't know. Do you know what? I loved it. I had a lovely time with my sister. She did a really good job. And it was so nice just to be, like, you know, in the Kent countryside. And, and it, there was still a bit of snow around. And... And it was, it was nice and getting up and doing nothing. And, but, you know, there wasn't much on telly, was there, really? Come on. <laughs> it was work, see? And I, I just, I don't know, I just thought... I was thinking about the beach the whole time. <laughs> and I thought, right, you know, first thing I'm going to do is, you know, book a holiday for next year. Because... Did you do presents? Yeah, or did Mark? No, no, no. No presents? No presents. Oh. I said to him, no presents. I don't want a present. I've got enough stuff. And, you know, it's my big birthday coming up in February. So... Yeah, well, I don't want... I didn't want a present. And I, I didn't get him one either. I said you to Michael... Didn't. Didn't. No, no, but, uh, just because you don't want presents doesn't mean he doesn't want them. I he agree with you Ka no, I agree with Carol. I said no presents. Every year, Mr Spain and I, no presents, no presents. And then he goes and buys me a present. It makes me look really mean. Well, you are. <laughs> yeah. We made a decision. No presents. That was no, what we... Christmas, yeah. I go, I better have presents and I better have a lot. <laughs> Were you inundated with gifts and I love this was Christmas? Inundated. Well, actually, I kind of live with Scrooge himself leading up to Christmas, who bar humbugs his way from December the 1st right up until Boxing Day. He and is worse than me, actually. Isn't no, he? no one's worse than you. No. <laughs> but, um, and it's all, oh, God, I hate shopping. And I said, You've only got to buy two presents. I've bought the other 47,000. <laughs> <laughs> but he never lets me down. He bought some lovely Christmas presents. And I love everything about Christmas. And how can you say, at Christmas, no, don't buy presents? What's the point? Well, you know, it's not about grown-ups, is it? it it's for is. the kids. It's for the kids, and they ain't got kids, so what's the point? Oh, yeah. I, we get all the kids. Santa obviously leaves the presents for the kids, and we buy some extra presents for the kids. That's right. But... I would, I would cry if after I gave my kids the present, they'd open them and I went, where's mine? And he said, well, we're old, you know, we're old now, we don't give presents. I'd punch him. I would be right there alongside you. Yeah, you, did yeah. you? What did you do? Well, we, we had Christmas. We went to my mum and dad's um, for Christmas Day and then up to um, see Darren's family on Boxing Day. So we, we spent a lot of our Christmas on the M25. <laughs> but, but we had a lovely time. It was great. Well, ben thing, though, got a kitchen. It? My little boy, who oh, looks oh. like a, such a little bruiser. My mum and dad bought him a kitchen and he's so his mother's a son. Kitchen. I mean, he, he cleans it. Then. He cleans it. Oh, I God. haven't taught him that. He's just observed. There, look, my good work is already paying off. One day he's going to make someone a lovely boyfriend. Oh. I was in the kitchen quite a lot. We went to Spain actually on box. I did all my cr the Christmas Day stuff on December the 20th because my, my uh, stepdaughter couldn't come on Christmas Day. And the minute Boxing Day arrived, we were off to Spain, where, I have to tell you, I bought a load of vegetables and fruit, and we did nothing but eat vegetables and fruit, right? We were so good, I can't tell you, for a, for a week. <laughs> got back, got back this Sunday, <laughs> and I made these meringues and cooked lunch yesterday, and at nine o'clock last night, me and Mr Spain, with these huge meringues and double cream, like this. <laughs> <laughs> See, it doesn't do to deprive yourself well, of tried. things all the time, because then you go mad. You did have wind, though, didn't you? Lots of wind, yeah. yes. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that with everybody. Yeah, <laughs> now, clearly for most of us, the hangover from the festive period has began to fade. But spare a thought for this lot. Yesterday, Britain's longest New Year celebrations finally came to an end after three days when 30 people were rescued from the Tan Hill Inn in North Yorkshire. They were cut off by eight-foot snowdrifts and had to be freed by snow ploughs. Fortunately, they were in a pub. It could have been worse, couldn't it? <laughs> But would a New Year's Eve party that lasted three days uh, be your idea of heaven or hell? Hell. Absolute hell. Really? For me. Yeah, well, I'm not a big drinker, so the thoughts... We had a fantastic New Year's Eve party. My house was absolutely packed and it was brilliant. I went to bed at six. In the morning? Which is good for me. Rock well, not at night, Colleen. not at evening, would well, I? you never know. <laughs> I've been a boring party. Happy New Year, I'm off to bed. It's Look six at Scrooge there. She probably did. Did oh, you go to bed at six? Did. No, actually, I was at home alone on New Year's Eve. Aww. Mark went up to Manchester to party with his friends, but I didn't want to go. Um, I, well, I didn't, because... She's so miserable. No, it's not! No! I understand no. exactly what I've got work to do. Work I'm to busy do. writing a book. I didn't want to get drunk, because I would have been out of action for three days. I can't afford the time. And, you know, frankly, New Year's Eve in this country is impossible. You know, all the pubs, they start charging you to go in. You can't get to the bar. There's always people everywhere. And, you know, I go out all year. I don't need to go out New Year's Eve. So I right. stayed at home. 
And I, yeah, I, did, I had a lovely time, thank we you. I was did. in bed at half ten. No. Yeah. 10.30, we were asleep. Yeah, then the fireworks woke me up down the road, and I was very grumpy <laughs> about that. So then I got out to look at the fireworks, and then that kept me awake. And then I thought, shall I wake him up and wish him Happy New Year? And I thought, no, sorry, I went yeah. back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'm not waking him up and remind him again what you didn't buy him for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Yes, exactly. What, what a bunch you, of love? miseries. Well, I had, I had friends oh, over. Yeah, we had a bit of a night. Um, I cooked. So we can't get a babysitter, so you think, bring the party to you. Mm, absolutely. Yeah. We had a and great had night. A, yeah, well, I had a great night. We had these amazing fireworks that you could see from the, from the garden. Mm. So we all down at the bottom of the garden, Anna racks on, champagne in hand, and at midnight, it snowed right on cue. Oh, oh, how lovely is that? It was, see, that's yeah. nice. Yeah, it was like a I cheap Richard that. Curtis production I in my back, back garden. <laughs> <laughs> the the other thing is, I've got, um, I, when I was going through all my stuff, I found a list. I kept a, a record of every single thing I'd done on every New Year's Eve since 1973. Right, seriously, oh, and I worked oh. out that actually, um, 2010, New Year's Day 2010 was the first New Year's Day I hadn't had a hangover since 1975. <laughs> 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 There's always a positive side to everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. Well, you're a good girl, Carol. You're a changed woman. <laughs> <laughs>